what I have with me here th this afternoon is a large family, right? Um, of course, and uh, this is in Diamond, I think somewhere around the Fort Bridge area, the new housing scheme. And why I'm here, it's because I was invited from Food for the Poor to co just come and give some coverage. As you know, we always would follow Food for the Poor and all the good things that they're doing, especially in the community, the local community, you know, give them back to, and, you know, help supporting and help feeding uh, the less fortunate, I must say, right? Um, this afternoon, I have this family here. And, uh, one of the representatives of the family is going to tell me exactly what they benefit from food for the poor, as you can see in the background where they live. My name is Zenovia Hendricks. And well, you're from where? I'm living in Diamond here, really originally from Essequibo, from Kapui Lake, the Amerindian village. So we here, I'm on the East Bank for, from since 2000. So, so it's like 15 years? Yes. How much ch kids do you have? How much children? I have seven children. Two girls and five boys. And the other big person is your mom? Yes, that's my mother. And this is your husband here? Yes. All right, and what's your husband's name? Babulal Mohalal. Babulal. Yeah. And just give me the age group of your children, starting from the, the small one. My daughter, my small baby, she's two years old. We have four year, we have seven year, we have eight year, we have ten, ten and twelve and fourteen. Okay, and um, how long you now you erect this building, the structure? Well, I'm here from May, from May to now it's like around six months. Only about six months? Yeah. And you used to stop somewhere before? Yeah, we used to live on an, another area, Fort Avenue, we used to rent place or rent house there. So the rent was heavy and then when we, the place where we used to rent, the owner we didn't know the owner so we rented from a man and he it was a fraud so we, like when we stay there for like three months we eventually know that it's not the man property mm -hmm. and the owner come and just put me out on the road and we go into housing and we eventually you gotta say get this land to this point and we had to hurry and build a little thing for the children because we was on the road at that time so just for the couple of months now we're here. So officially this is your land? Yes, the it and, process. Um, tell, tell me a little bit about um, the support that you have gotten from Food to the Poor this morning. Well, I'm grateful for the assistance in the materials that they give us uh, to the family. It's really a good help and um, I must thank Food for the Poor for the, this, you know, donation, whatever they give us. Because we are so grateful for it at this time, you know, we really in need of it. Well, we're talking here with uh, the one of the representatives of the family, and um, you know, if you out there can, you know, get any help across to this family, please communicate with Food to the Poor. The number is at the bottom of the screen, or you could call us at Emerald Digital Production, and we will try to arrange it through Food for the Poor, uh, Guyana Inc. You know, Mr. Giddens, uh, Mr. Hamilton, Mr. Vincent, um, you know, everyone in there, Jamil, right? Uh, even some of the girls in there, all the staff, you know, the very nice persons, you know. So let's say um, good afternoon to everyone that represents Food for the Poor, and let me encourage them to continue to do what they're doing they're always on the good side and we're always following them from emerald digital productions right and you know what i'll do i'll just give you some scenes uh, as to how this family live right seeing is believing you know so what you can do just view this program if you're any part of the world as we're oh, we're going to be on the internet here uh, with this video basically an application came in for, for a request, a request for assistance. 
and our field officer, Mr. Guinness, went out and did an assessment, came back with the information, and then obviously we look at it and see there's a desperate need for help. So we responded immediately. Anyone who requests assistance who wants to get out can call us on our phone numbers or they can send us a letter and um, we will definitely respond. If you call us, you will really let us know um, how we can assist you and we'll see if best we can assist you whether now or in the future. If somebody walking right off the street, we will have an interview with them right on spot, fill out some basic information, we'll make a decision right there. Um, if there's an urgent need, we will help them right away. If not, we'll probably refer them to another group that we're working with or ask them to come back once we once we get the supplies up for them. If you're any part of the world and you want to uh, dispatch some sort of support or help, whatever it is, communicate with the numbers at the bottom of the screen. This is directly with Food for the Poor, Guyana Inc.